Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makaha Kudash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect brothers out there on the four corners of the globe pushing this truth. And all truth and sincerity and strength in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. In this lesson that I want to go over, has to do with the last phrase I said to the brothers that's pushing this word over the four corners of the globe. This lesson right here is going to tie into that particular phrase to some degree, or to a heavy degree. Now what you see on the screen is a tree, and it's basically a mustard, a mustard tree. So I want to go in the book of Mark, because I like to do uh, lessons out of what I'm reading. And uh, I like to do lessons on the chapter that I'm reading for my reading. It makes it easier for me uh, just to do lessons, you know, keep it fresh. Because that's what I'm just going over. So I was meditating on this. So I want to do a, a little short lesson. hope it's edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So let's get into it. This is Mark 4 and 26. It says, and he said... So is the kingdom of heaven, kingdom of God, as if a man should a man should cast seed into the ground. Okay, so it says the kingdom of God, which is basically what we what we uh, what we have in our hands every day, is this gospel. Okay, it says if is a man should cast seed into the ground. Now you know that the Bible uses analogies of a husband, which is a farmer. Okay, now. If you the 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 one who's doing the casting is basically a, a farmer, which represents us, which are who the men preaching the word, the men of the Lord who preaching this word, okay. And when you cast seed into the ground, what are you doing? You are hoping that the seed that you're casting is basically going to take root, and and through the help of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, it's going to grow and produce a great fruit, okay. So when we go out and preach and we're casting this word out, we cast it out. We cast these seeds out and, and, and uh, you do and you have to cast seeds out as a farmer in the proper time too. Because you don't cast it out in the proper time, basically it's not going to grow right. So when we go out on the highways and byways or when we do these lessons, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, it's always the proper time. Because he has us man's goings of the Lord. How could a man understand his own way? So the Lord, when you when you do things as do through the Spirit, the Lord has you doing them at the proper time. Okay, so when we cast this word out, okay, we we are basically uh, you know hoping that that basically uh, the Lord will 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 basically make it rain, which is uh, or we cast seeds out. You hoping He make it rain? You hope the sun shines on it that it'll grow. So we're hoping that, that when we cast these, this word out, that the hearers, which you go when you go early in the chapter, I did a lesson on the uh, the wayside, the stony grounds, and the um, the choked out seeds. Okay, you're hoping that the hearers don't get choked out, you know, or they don't fall stony by the wayside or fall by the wayside. You want them to be that good seed and that they take root. Okay. And produce fruit and it says verse 27 verse 27 and should sleep and raise night and day and the seed shall spring and grow up he knoweth not how okay so when a farmer plants the seed when he casts the seed into the ground he gonna sleep night and day he gonna go to bed he gonna wake up he gonna rise early because he has to what tend to the tend to the garden during the time he got to tend to it, okay. Because when the, when when the when the when the seed if it does take root when it comes up, you have to constantly clean around it, make sure the roots, uh, the grass, other grass don't choke it out or whatnot, and hope it grow, okay. Same way in the truth, right? The same way, okay. When we preach, we write, we raise up. Basically, uh, uh, when we raise in night and day, we constantly being what attentive to this work. Okay, we're constantly being diligent and, and laborious in this work. 
you know, constantly. Okay. And if, and if we do have seed that grow up and catch root, basically, men, the men who you're under, the men who you're over, if you're over men, you got to constantly teach them. You got to do, we do videos to, to edify the brothers, the younger brothers, like if they coming in after us, just like our apostles are constantly doing videos to edify us because we are the ones uh, that are under them. Through the spirit and power you have by Shema Shah, Lord willing, that the root has taken in us and we're growing. Okay? And they're tending to the to the basically to their uh tending to their gardens, man, when they do the videos. Making sure that no grass come around and and, and, and choke it out, meaning other doctrines. Because you got a lot of other people preaching other doctrines that call themselves Israelites. Mm -hmm. So our apostles are constantly doing videos, they're constantly laboring. Being diligent in labor's work, and so are we. You know that no other doctors have come choke us out, basically. All right, and it says, "And grow up." He knoweth not how, because we don't know the process. We don't really know the process and how the Lord makes a seed pop open, and the rain come down, and in the sun. We don't know the actual mysteries of how the sun makes an actual seed grow. So when when you when you preach the word. If it's for a man to take heed to it, you don't know what man it's going to be. You don't know what time it's going to be. You don't know who it's going to be that the Lord is going to uh, 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 put put his grace on and to wake up. All you know, you just push the word out there. Okay? You just plant the seed. Okay? You know? So this is a mystery, man. Because basically uh, a sinner, he'll hear the word, you know, and, and basically, once he hears it, it's basically engrafted in, right? And the, and the Lord, are basically, it's up to the Lord whether he's going to bestow his grace on a certain person to give him that divine influence of the mind to think upon him and his name. It's up, it's up to him, man, okay? It's totally up to him. So all we do is just push it out like it was pushed out there and, and, and certain men, we heard it, you know, and, and, and start, hey, start... We start uh, tilling ground, man. From that day, you know, we start breaking up ground, trying, trying to, trying to plant, you know, our own, to basically get our own foundation and get rooted. You know, it says verse twenty-eight: For the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself, right? Because I just explained the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself. When you plant the seed, guess what? It don't really need help. The Lord going to bring the influence of rain. He going to bring dew in the morning. Because you got to remember back in the days, back in the uh, ancient world, around the time of Noah, they, they didn't have no rain. It was dew that watered the earth. Okay? So dew and then the sun, which all accumulates to what? A farmer having what? Faith, man. You got to have faith when you put that seed in the ground that it's going to grow. And that's how we live, man. We walk by faith, man, and not by sight, man. Second Corinthians 5 and 7. And it says, first the blade, then the ear, because that's how it is. It's a blade that come up. When you see it, it pops up. You have two little uh, flowers come out. Then the ear of corn, and then the ear going to grow, and then it's a full piece of corn. Okay? That's how it is. You see it in the truth. Brothers come in. They, they come out. They might they might hear it first. They might hear it on uh you might hear a man on the streets or through the through the process of the uh, thumb in the urine, which is the internet. You might hear the internet. You might see where a brother at in your town. Then you go out and you listen. That's that's part of that 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 blade being listening and that ear could be you grabbing the scriptures and start reading, and then the Lord give you that grace and that discernment. Then you become a full ear of corn. Okay, you become right. You become mature in this thing, man. That's, that's the process, man. Okay? That's the process, man. So it's the process of that particular seed, man. A gradual increase, man. You know, it's always a gradual increase, man. You get that, get Lord bestow that grace on you. You know, it's a gradual. You see brothers growing. You, you Like certain brothers see brothers. Man, I remember this brother coming to truth. He was like this now, man. That brother on fire. He diligent. He on fire. You see the growth in men, you know, through through years. You know, same with the process of the seed man you see the growth okay 
Verse 29, it says, But when the fruit is brought forth immediately, he put it in a sickle, because the harvest is come. Okay? So when the perfection is, is there, and, that, and that, 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 uh, that, that maturity is there, then basically, which is in the elect men, those are going to be the mature ones, that the Lord himself is going to basically uh, gather. Okay? It says... The harvest has come. When you go into the harvest, the harvest is the end of the world. Okay? So those those basically fruit that are brought forth is going to be the elect. Okay? Because Yahweh Shai is basically coming to the garden. He's going to come gather his own uh, uh, special lilies, man, which are the elect. His special flowers, man. The elect, man. Okay? He's going to come to the garden and do a good gathering. You know, at this particular time of closing, the time of death that he's going to bring to America, man. He's going to come to the garden and he's going to get that ripe fruit, okay? That 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 first, that first, uh, what we call it, the first fruit, man. You know? Uh, verse 30. It says, verse 30 says, and he said, and he said, Let's see. Yeah, drop my book. And he said, Salaki, I drop my book. And he said, We're unto shall shall we liken the kingdom of the most high question. Right? He, he kept telling them, he was giving them a clear idea of this gospel, man, and, and what it's likened to. Okay, that's what Yahweh Shah was telling the disciples, man. He was conveying to their minds, like, hey, he, see, he was heavy. He was teaching them. He went out and spoke parables, and he would come back and teach it to them, right? He says, shall he be likened to the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh, or what, with what comparison should we compare it to? So what is it like? Now he's going to show you what it's compared to. Verse 31, it is like a grain of mustard seed, which when it is sown in the earth is less than all the seeds that be in the earth. So a mustard seed is like the smallest seed. Okay. It's real small. Which is a mustard seed is basically like the kingdom. Okay. And it says. And it says. Which when it is sown in the earth is less than all the seeds that be on the earth man. Because this gospel that we preach has always been preached by very few people. We got to remember that even Noah, Noah preached back then, right? He was alone. You got to remember when John the Baptist was preaching, right? And then you got to remember when Yahweh Shai was preaching. All the prophets, when they were preaching, they were, it was just them and had a few followers, man. You know, they had a few disciples. When you look at I, I, Elijah and, and, and uh, uh Alicia and men like them. It was it was it's always been preached by a few people, right? And even in this time, it's still preached by a few people. You know, the Lord in His grace said He's gonna have 144,000. You know, have they all came to the forefront of teaching? No. You know, but 144,000 men are gonna be those men. People are gonna be waking up during the time of Jacob's trouble, and whatnot. But like, I'm going to tell you, it's 7 billion people on the planet. 1% of 7 billion is like 70 million. So 144,000, shoot, it ain't even 1% of that 70 million. So I'm telling you, we we less, we less, ain't even on the percentage chart of the men that's preaching. Okay? You know? We're not even on a percent. We don't even make the percentage scale. So it's very few men that's preaching. Okay? And it says, verse 32, But when it is sown, it groweth up, and becometh greater than all the herbs, and shooteth out great branches. See? So when this gospel was pre when it's preached by few less people, right? Even even back then, when Yahweh Shai spoke, it, it, it what? It, 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 it grew, it, it, uh, it outgrew them traditions of the old Jews, and, and the, uh, the the philosophies of the Gentiles, to the point even those old Jews who hated it, even had Herod kill some of the, uh, the, the the men of the Lord and put some in jail. But guess what? The ministry still grew. 
even in our time when Abba Bibbins, think about it, he was basically taken out, he was killed. But did it did the did the uh, uh the word stop? No. You had you had uh King Masha, Yaikwa, Arya, and then here come Apostle to Harden them. And they had certain men with them back then, it, they split. But you know, Apostle Tahar stayed with it. Do Apostle Rikar, Apostle Gabar, Apostle, Apostle Ramallah. Hey, it's still going. Right? And his group. They they were they were, you know, them 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 few men I just named were less than all the men you see preaching in these churches. Preaching this this gospel of the devil in the churches, man. They way less than them men. Don't even make up a percentage. But guess what? It's grown through the thermal in the urine, it's grown. Now you see the you see the fruit, the branches when it branched out. You know, the branches being what the, the uh, branching out to different parts of the world. Okay? Branching out to way different parts, man. You know? And like that mustard seed, we were just talking about a mustard seed. It, it has the ability to, to grow through difficult conditions. Okay? And this, what, this is what the word has went through. We went through many oppositions, man. Brothers preach. They got to go out through the different increments of weather. You got to deal with family members. You got to deal with the authorities, cops, brothers that went to jail for the truth. Brothers, it, it, different things. Uh, people have pulled guns on brothers at camp. And that's what you see a mustard, seed, a mustard tree. It can grow through any condition, right? I'm going to show you one that's in uh, that mustard tree right there. To the left is in Africa. And you know it that 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 mustard seed had to grow through with rocks, pebbles, and whatnot. It had many obstacles, man. It had to go through to be a, a be a tree that that gives off that shade, man. Okay. So it says, but when it is sown, it groweth up and becometh greater than all the herbs and shooteth out great branches. It goes the word goes uh, th th through forth through the earth. Okay. And it says, so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. I mean, the, the saints, man. The, basically, the men who are basically partakers in this heavenly calling, man. Okay? You know? And we're going to continue basically in the shadow, which is a shadow is a protection from, from an element, right? From uh, what basically uh, the sun can be a destroying element in a particular time so a shadow can be a protection from that sun so we're going to we're going to maintain in, in this protection of under this shadow which the lord is going to protect us from uh, uh evils that come against us basically other doctrines trying to be pushed you know uh like I said, the time of jacob's trouble just oppositions against this truth man it's been many oppositions when you preach the truth you're going to have those people that come against you know antichrist man against the anointed man so you're gonna have that, okay? But these, but these particular men, right? These branches, these men, when they spring up to maturity, they they continue in it. Brothers get together, they read together. They what you see, what you see happening now. Brothers are gathering in the streets together for them pushing this word. Brothers are doing videos, you know, doing shows, uh, not being on the streets like we're doing now. Brothers are calling, brothers, in this particular time, with this little uh, mini crisis, brothers is checking on each other. You know, I didn't have plenty of brothers, man. I don't even have to name them, and they know who they are. They call me and checked on me. You know, and that's what we do. You know, when you when you when you grow, next seed grow up into that uh, maturity of grace, man. That's what we do, man. You know, hope we and hope we that right fruit, because when that fruit is right, it's, it's plucked off, man. And when you see a good, when you have a good fruit from a harvest, you admire that fruit. You know, you, you put it up, you put it up in a safe place. Which we hope in that time of trouble, we be put up in that safe place, which is the chariots, man. Under that shadow of your how about Shimmy I was from from that what, that destroying uh, 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 light, which is going to be the thermonuclear destruction in the end, because your how is coming to pick out that garden too. He's coming to uh, reap some of the the, the fruit. That first fruit, man, and it is and it is admired. When you see a farmer grab his fruit, he look at it like, man, look at these pretty tomatoes right here. Look at this pretty squash. They, they admire it, man. 
you know the smell it has a great smell great texture and all that's represented of men of the elect man you know their mind is not like two-thirds man when you see a, a man of the Lord you, you see something different in that person you know it's not like having a tree with, with rotten fruit on it okay two-thirds of that rotten fruit which is disregarded and then that beautiful fruit is representation of the elect man that's springing off these uh this budding up from 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 a, a seed man that we have no way how no the process of how it grows and roots and comes up we know rain and sun and dew but like i said in that, that's a mystery which the lord is going to show us in that day so amen i just hope this lesson was edifying Call Allah Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well. Hey, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is the brother Kyle, GMS Arkansas. GMS, stop and listen. Hey, I just hope this lesson was edifying. To the next time, I say Shalom.